Hello, people. Glad you could join us for another exciting day with Mike Mo Fishing. We're going to do a little pond hopping today. A couple little places I like to go and um, just see what's there, what's biting. I'm going to throw a couple different lures. I think I'm, for the most part, I'm going to stick to like. Um, worms uh, small swim bait stuff like that just to see what happens um i think this would be oh my gosh look at that water it's so clear i already see fish look at that right there i don't know if you guys see that i'm gonna start off on a weightless weightless worm so i'm throwing first for starters um i can see this drain here so i'm sure that like when it rains a lot of stuff is washing down so there should be a lot of fish pulling up in this area here so i'm gonna see what i can do you guys are gonna have to excuse the ashiness i just noticed i'm extremely ashy it's a little breeze i'm gonna let that thing sink Oh, I missed them. So, first cast, I got a hit. That's definitely a good sign. I'm gonna try to get it back out there. First cast, I did get a hit, so that that's a really good sign. Pick up my slack. Wow, look at the sun hit this water, really clearing up. Let it sink. Oh, missed one. Again, it's totally my fault. Definitely getting attacked here. This thing sinks extremely slow. So I have to account for that. So what I have here is a chopped off piece of, of a worm. I broke it down so it's a little bit smaller. I want to see what's going to hit it first. See if we can get anything on that. Doing it swimming a little bit and letting it drop. Swimming a little bit, letting it drop. Okay, so the first fish is a bluegill. Good size bluegill too. It looks pretty daggone healthy. Right here. <laughs> no way. Good bluegill. Off you go. So I caught him off to the right. I had cut the camera off for a quick second and started casting. Well, cast it one time and he happened to hit. So um, as I was throwing it, the hit was a little different. So I had to constantly reel it. I just kept reeling it real slow um you know bluegills fish i don't mind i'll take it so now see what happens real slow retrieve oh you got another hit i missed them so it seems that they like the real slow retrieve oh, i'm about to lose that worm Put that in a little bit better. There we go. Constant roll. Let it sink. So guys, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna throw Bandito Bug. Cause they're sitting in these patches we're gonna try to get them to come up out of them. 
let that thing drop. Ooh, did you guys see that? I'm gonna have to do a replay. My next move is I'm gonna put on a stick bait. Okay, so instead of the stick bait, I decided to throw a Kytec swim bait. And on the first cast, of course, it's already getting hits. And if you guys know me, you know I love me some Kytec, so. Oh, and I get stuck. I got it out. <laughs> but if it's heavy braid on white lures, it's not gonna do too much for you. It is going pretty hard today. I mean, so far, the only thing we've getting hit on was a bluegill. Okay, I'm gonna go with the red shade. For starters, I'm gonna throw this thing full length just to see what kind of uh, play I can get out of it. This is a 10 inch, I mean, I'm sorry, seven and a half. Let's see what happens. Falls extremely slow as we just witnessed. I always like to put my lure in the water in front of me first. Um, so I can get a clear picture of how it's going to be moving in the water, which ultimately, you know, watching how fast or how slow it drops, you know, helps you better uh, maneuver it through the water. You know, if you start pulling it, it's going to raise up from where it's dropping. So, you know, in order to get that depth back, pull it, you stop, you let it drop again. This long curly tail is going to help that, that lure uh, produce a, a lot of movement from that tail, which in turn will attract fish. So, you know, it works kind of good. Now. So, let's see what happens. Changing up the colors a little bit. I kind of want to put a jig head on here just to get a little bit more distance out of it. I'm going to give it a second to sink. Bye. Okay, guys, then we'll move around to the other side. Okay, looking from up here looks extremely shallow. But I think it's worth a try. This is also a drain. So Why not give it a try, right? Something I want over here. Actually see what's going on. He's getting, there's getting some rambunctious ducks in over there, man. I guess he got a little too close. They didn't like it. 
Oh, there it goes. Hook up. Hook up. First bass. First bass of the day. All right. Good looking fish too, man. Look at that. On the Christmas tree. Try to get this hook out of his mouth. There we go. First bass of the day. Good looking bass. Good size. Let him go. Get him back out there. I'm gonna try to get another. He was hitting on the edge of that grass right there. I started swimming it past him. Didn't want to go too fast. So they're sitting on the grassy edge. I think to catch that nice bass. But I think this drain looks promising. Oh, look, he hit it. He took it. He took it right there. I watched him take it. I watched him take it. Good fish. I knew it. First cast, as soon as I got around here to this drain, and he just nails it. That is a good fish. Okay, his spot's dried up that quick, so moving right along. And another one, right off in the shallow grass here on the edge. Right off in the shallow grass here on the edge. Getting this throw it back in there look at that oh I lost I wasn't paying attention I'm sorry guys I was trying to reset my phone that was a good that was a good fish I mean he hit it like hard oh he broke me off so I'm gonna go with the white since I Seem to have no more red shad. And I'm gonna hook it through half of it. I think that should work. Let's see you guys. Oh, look at that. He took it. 
You took it. You took it. Oh yeah. Good fish on that white. That solid white, man, is, I mean, it produced it. He smoked it. Feeling it in my hand, I think it's gonna be more balanced somewhere in there. Yep, I'm pretty good. I'm gonna throw it, I let it drop. And there he goes again. He's a bluegill, guys. Multi species. Got us a bluegill. I don't want him to. Come on. Oh no. We gotta get him back to the water. Another one. There's another fish. Look at that, it hit. Oh look, he swirled, he's coming for it. He's coming for it, guys. Well, I guess he didn't want it. All right, guys, we're gonna do a couple more casts here and we're getting out of here. Another. Yeah. Yeah, that's that parabolic bin. Keep that fish hook. Oh yeah. Fish on. There you go. He's a fighter. A fighter. Another fighter, buddy. Yeah. Good fish. Good fish. You guys see it? We're doing pretty good today. I can't complain at all. Oh, yeah. Nice spotted. another one and they keep catching me off guard I'm like not paying attention like oh yeah do 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 and then boom come on stupid there it goes that hook has been yeah I'm gonna add this to fish brain and tell you guys where I'm not Don't worry, you guys uh, on Fish Brain, you can follow me. I'll, I'll definitely be adding these fish to Fish Brain and putting up the location that I'm not at. Oh, yeah. We are bringing them in. Yeah, it is. Bringing them in. Oh yeah, good color. I see a little bit of uh, eating up on the tail though. Yes, fish are a little sick. That's a parasite that won't kill them, but it'll just make them look a little yucky by the tail. 
often affects like the gill area as well.